Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you some good news regarding the latest immigration update for immigrant visa applicants. But before we get started, please like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. So there is some good news from the Department of State and this was announced on December 13, 2021. So let's get started. So this interview waiver for certain immigrant visa, there is actually a cutoff date and it is only applicable to certain immigrant visa applicants. So here is the official announcement from the Department of State. There is a waiver of personal appearance and interview requirements for certain immigrant visa applicants issued visas on or after August 4, 2019. Now, this is based on the temporary rule by the Department of State. So let me explain everything in this video. Now, before I proceed with the temporary final rule, so I will provide this with you in details, but there are eligibility requirements. So every time the Department of State issues a waiver of interview, there are actually eligibility requirements. Now, if you were issued an immigrant visa on or after August 4, 2019, however, there are eligibility requirements if you fall in this category. Now, immigrant visa applicants who meet the following criteria may not need to make another in-person interview appearance before a consular officer for an interview, execution of their application, and oath. So let me provide the interview waiver requirements. First, the immigrant visa was issued on or after August 4, 2019. Second, the applicant did not travel to the United States on the immigrant visa. And third, the applicant seeks and remains qualified for an immigrant visa in the same classification as the expired immigrant visa or in certain automatic category conversions and pursuant to the same approved petition. Now, if you meet these following eligibility requirements, here is the procedure. Applicants meeting this criteria may wish to contact the consular section that issued their prior immigrant visa and inquire about their eligibility for this provision. Applicants may be required to submit new DS-260 applications, provide any required updated documents, submit medical exams, and pay the application processing fees. Please note that applicants who meet this criteria may still be required to appear in person before a consular officer. Now, this temporary final rule expires on December 13, 2023. So you actually have two years to submit all the required documents and update everything. So you may be required no interview. However, the consul has the discretion if an interview will still be required later on. Now, what is the temporary final rule? So this is only for certain immigrant visa applicants who were issued a visa on or after August 4, 2019. Now, there are expirations for the immigrant visa and this is good news for you because when you apply again, and you wanted to be in the same classification of the visa category, you can still come to the U.S. without having an interview. However, this interview waiver is only discretionary on the consular officer. Now, this temporary final rule or TFR provides flexibility for consular officers to waive the personal appearance of certain repeat immigrant visa applicants who were approved for an immigrant visa in the same classification and on the same basis as the current application on or after August 4, 2019. Now, it also gives consular officers discretion to allow this subset of immigrant visa applicants 
to affirm the accuracy of the contents of their application without appearing in person before a consular officer. Now, this temporary final rule is effective immediately and expires for 24 months or on December 13, 2023. Now, the Department of State provided this temporary final rule to allow certain immigrant visa applicants on or after August 4 to come to the U.S. because of certain local conditions. Now, let me explain the local conditions that can prevent you from going to the U.S. because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, there are actually 49,000 immigrant visa applicants who were not able to come to the U.S. The department conducted a database query to determine how many individuals may benefit from this rule and determined that nearly 49,000 individuals were issued immigrant visas between August 4, 2019 or 180 days before the first presidential proclamation suspending entry into the U.S. and September 30, 2021, and have not yet sought admission. Now, of the individuals issued immigrant visas between August 4, 2019 and May 31, 2021, over 11,000 did not seek admission before their immigrant visas expired. If you are an immigrant visa applicant on or after August 4, 2019, and your immigrant visa already expired and you think you qualified for this temporary rule allowing you to waive the interview requirement or get another replacement immigrant visa, you need to contact the nearest local U.S. Embassy near your residence. Or if you are in the Philippines, please contact the U.S. Embassy in Manila and make sure that you are eligible to benefit from this new rule. Now, there are certain local conditions that can prevent you from getting admission into the U.S. Local conditions such as medical infrastructure, COVID-19 cases, emergency response capabilities, and restrictions on leaving home may affect when and the extent to which department facilities can provide routine services, including scheduling appointments and the ability of applicants to obtain documentation and medical screening appointments. The department's embassies and consulates are implementing safeguards to keep staff and customers safe, including implementing physical distancing in waiting rooms, scheduling fewer interviews at a time, frequently disinfecting high-touch areas and following local health and safety regulations. Let me provide the requirements for this temporary final rule allowing the interview waiver for certain immigrant visa applicants on or after August 4, 2019. The first requirement is that you must have been issued a U.S. immigrant visa on or after August 4, 2019. The second requirement is that you seek an immigrant visa in the same classification and pursuant to the same approved petition as the previously issued immigrant visa or an immigrant visa pursuant to the same approved petition as the previously issued visa but in a different classification because it was automatically converted due to the death or naturalization of the petitioner of the previously issued immigrant visa. The third requirement is you qualify for an immigrant visa in the same classification or another classification as the result of automatic conversion due to the death or naturalization of the petitioner of the previously issued immigrant visa and pursuant to the same approved petition as the previously issued immigrant visa and number four requirement have no changed circumstances that could affect the eligibility or the applicant's eligibility for the visa. Now this rule was issued and it furthers the department's commitment to the health and safety of consular officers and customers by reducing personal appearances as appropriate which could potentially expose consular officers 
locally employed staff, applicants, and customers to COVID-19. This will also save time and travel expenses for applicants who wish to apply for another immigrant visa after having been unable or unwilling to use the original visa. This is effective for 24 months until December 13, 2023. Now, as discussed earlier, there were actually 49,000 immigrant visas issued on or after August 4, 2019. And this is actually worldwide applications. This is not applicable to a certain locality or a certain country, but this 49,000 who were not able to get admission to the U.S. because of the pandemic, this is actually worldwide. Now, these 49,000 immigrant visa applicants were not able to travel or were not admitted in the U.S. because of the COVID-19 travel restrictions in the U.S. and also the travel ban during the time that there was a presidential proclamation issued on March 2020. Now, let me provide you the rules regarding the fingerprinting, registration, and execution of application from December 13, 2021 up to December 31, 2023 for certain immigrant visa applicants. Now, the form of attestation for certain repeat applications due to COVID-19, the swearing to or signature of an application before a consular officer by an immigrant visa applicant may be waived in the discretion of the consular officer until December 13, 2023, provided the applicant is willing to affirm to the information provided on Form DS-260 or Form DS-230. Now, if you think you are eligible for this in-person interview waiver for immigrant visa applicants, please share in the comment section below. And if you could please provide us the reason why you are unable to be admitted in the U.S. or why the immigrant visa got expired. However, you can still avail of this rule until December 13, 2023. Make sure that you are also eligible in the same visa category and your circumstances have not changed. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.